everybody, I'm Allie and welcome to Power Popping. Today we're going to be doing something a little outside of the old card realm here. And we're going to be making our own jewelry. Yes, I said jewelry. So today we're going to be working with some Stazon ink, some shrink plastic, and some awesome stamps. Let's get started. So today we're going to be using the Wild Mushroom Stamp Set. This is an enormous stamp set by Power Poppy and it has a whole variety of different mushroom. Today we're going to be using the fly agaric mushroom which is this one here and let's go and stamp our image. Now you can buy specific uh, shrink plastic for this that says shrink plastic but according to a number of areas on the on the internet you can actually use a specific kind of recyclable piece of plastic. Um, I don't specifically remember what it is, you'll have to do a little research, but it can be done with plastic that you may have at home already. Now the reason I'm using Stazon ink is because it's one of the only inks that actually transfers and sticks and stays to a plastic surface. Um, Water-based inks do not work for this, so you must have the right type of ink. And. This stuff really likes to stick to your stamp. So yeah, that's cool. All right, now we're gonna turn this around because I'm going to do two, hence earrings. Make sure that it will fit. And once again, the beauty of the mini Misty here is that if you happen to miss a spot on your stamp that you can go back in and re-stamp your image. So this is a great asset to have in your stamping repertoire. All right, so we have our two images. I'm going to take um, some stamp cleaner and go directly to my stamp now. Give it a little shake. This is just uh, an Ink Essentials product. And I've got my cleaning cloth here. Now you won't necessarily get this all off your stamp and it won't affect your stamps at all. Okay, so to have it stained black is not a big issue. Now, I've just placed a piece of white cardstock underneath so that you guys can see this image a little bit better here. We're going to go in and use some Copic markers to color. Now I have flipped my image over uh, to the wrong side. As you can see, all of those letters are backwards and we're going to color it from the back just so that we don't wreck the markers. Um, just know that even though this doesn't look like super, super bright, that once it shrinks, because all of those pigments get squished together, it becomes much, much more vibrant. So you don't have to do a lot of blending either. So I'm going to make this super easy on myself and just add maybe just a tiny bit of a darker marker, kind of where Marcia has put those shaded dots. So I'm not going to bore you with uh, a bunch of coloring here. I will put on some music. I'll finish this uh, for you on video and then we'll go to the next step in our process. Enjoy! So now that everything is colored, I'm going to take my scissors here and I'm going to make nice smooth cuts all the way around. I am leaving um, a blank border around my image. You could fussy cut it out, but I think that's a lot more work um, than necessary. Plus, uh, the detail of those edges and that are not going to show up on your finished product anyway. So just make it easier on yourself and just go around. Um, I'm trying not to get any sharp edges or anything like that. I'm just making them nice and round. 
And I'm also including that cute little font too, because that's just, I mean, that's part of its whimsy, right? And they're earrings. Good golly, if it can't have fun, then what's the point, right? Okay. There we go. And of course, they don't have to be totally identical. You do your best. Okay, so now we've got two images. I am going to take my crocodile and I'm going to punch a hole in it for our wire earring pieces. So I need to do that. I need to go and grab my carpet out. I believe it's not in my room. Okay, I went and retrieved it here and I'm going to use um, the smaller of the holes here to punch my hole. If you don't do this before you uh, melt it, you're going to be in trouble. So be aware that you need to do it before you shrink it because otherwise it's the material is way too thick to attempt to put any kind of hole in it. And this tool cuts through it like butter. <sighs> All right, so we've got our two images. I'm gonna get rid of my cardboard piece here and I've got my um, heat proof mat and you do not have to do these in the oven. You can actually use your heat tool, hooray. The only thing is you make you need to make sure that you're doing it on some form of, form of heat proof mat or material of some kind. All right. Um, I am going to turn the sound off and I will leave it on for real time and you'll see what happens. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Hopefully you can see this. Actually, let me pull in my white piece of paper here. Okay, so it shrank a lot, but isn't that adorable? I did flip it over um, and pressed it, kind of using my stays on lid, um, just because it's nice and flat, right? <laughs> but yeah, there we go. And then I'll do our second one and we'll have a set of earrings. Are they adorable? So cute. Okay. Here's number two. Now this one has a little dimple in it, but it's from my tweezers, but I don't care. Like I said, it's so adorable. Oh my good golly. So yeah, we'll attach our <laughs> earring hooks to it and we'll have some super cute mushroom earrings. And let's look at our final product. So I made a really, really simple card with just a couple of punched holes and some rounded corners to hang my uh, earrings on there. And then I decided to make a little box to put them in. Let's pan out a little bit. And I colored the front. And of course these sit inside. And then I made a tiny little card to go inside the box as well. And this sentiment is from the M Powering Words uh, stamp set. And it just uh, slides in behind. So 
And I just have a little Velcro closure. Super simple, really fun project, and it really didn't take all that long, even with the box and card as an addition. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you give something a try, something similar to this. Grab your shrink plastic or your recycle bin and check it out and see what you can make. Thanks, guys. Have fun, and I hope you get creative. Bye now.